Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Sensational Lifestyle by Heidi. So for this channel, we'll be talking about the incoming, ongoing and new release product and perfume review. So without the further ado, let's just move on. So hi guys and welcome back. So for today, I don't know what's going on with me but I edit heaps of times. But let's just talk about the type of perfume that I will wanted to review which is the Perfume de Marley royal essence that i purchased it from feeling sexy i always heard it in the community that they do love perfume de marley that's why i was so curious to buy it and spray it to myself and check it to myself and smell it to myself so i didn't disappoint myself on the spot that i smell this perfume one of the perfume i decided at the time to buy by the full bottle so let's just start it with this different types of decan there has a five different perfume itself that they have it in here that i will discuss it and i will i already arranged it from the first that i love it to the least that i like it so let's just start out with the purview number one favorite among the five among the four that i'll have it this is the one of my favorite which is the saffronade that was launched on 2013 and behind the note is Fabris Pillar Green and ladies and gentlemen I already wearing this and this is for me is a very sensual perfume an aromatic fragrance that can boost up my self my confidence and it makes me feel happy makes me feel sexy makes me feel sophisticated that's what I felt with this type of perfume. That's very nice floral oriental type of perfume. It has a pear and mandarin, but to my body chemistry, the dominant one notes are Irish and vanilla. When I smell that it already has an Irish, already has vanilla, and I said of myself, wow, this is a wow feeling for me. Same when I smell my lavender and three and on. And the same time when I smell my Chin Paul Gautier. Same feeling that I uh, felt when I smelled those two type of perfume. It's the same, same feeling. This is type of niche that I wanted to have it for a long time. Um, when I smell my Delina, there is a feeling that I like it. But this one, this is the feeling that I love it. And I wanted to hug it and wanted to feel this feeling all the time that I felt this high confidence to myself. So that's the one thing that I can see. This is very, very alluring. You can just check it to yourself. Let me know down below the comment box what is your opinion regarding to the perfume of Perfume de, Mar um, de Marley and what type of Perfume de Marley per uh, is the one that you love it and always wear it please let me know so for this one thumbs up for this saffronade so for the second one that we have it is the darcy so this is darcy is the fourth one that i like it because for me um with this one i am not a fan of strong citrus i love a citrus like my dolce gabbana um, light blue intense that it's very soft feminine but this one because of the combinations of um, lemon orange citrus note it's strong but it becomes feminine at the same time ladies and gentlemen I told you it in the beginning I was just like wow this is like for a, like a Dolce Gabbana it's stay citrusy but when it's dry down the feminine floral fragrance it's calm it has a similarity that the mademoiselle for me for my own opinion ladies and gentlemen i know there's a lot of people just saying that this darcy has difference with this um mademoiselle but it has um similarity but this one has a citrus the mademoiselle straight is like a floral type of perfume but this one it has a floral but at the same time it has this a little hint 
of lemon that is became citrus and then slowly down to become a feminine type of perfume that i love it that it's not very common to the other perfume that i like other says that perfume de marley was like copying other um perfumery or other perfume but let me remind ladies and gentlemen we have this type of notes that we combine it and we try our trial and error that sometimes it came out because of the chemicals that we included with the perfume it came out at the end of the day that it has a similarity with the other perfume the only difference is just how you combine it and how strong is the note when it comes to the notes and the chemicals itself that's why they have 40 types of um percentage of the nose or 30 types of 30 percent of the nose or lesser this one this one this one so they have it this sometimes when you combine it it become a similar to the other perfume that's what i my own opinion that's what i do as a perfumery sometimes i remember when i make it one of my perfume that i have it there i told to myself is this perfume is similar to the other perfume i said to myself because i'm not too familiar yet at the time and i'm just new to this um, community and new to being a perfumery and i'm just starting to uh, attending some seminar to become a perfumery i have no clue but when i check again my perfume it has a similar to the other perfume and when i check all the list that i put it there and all the notes and chemicals that i combine it it has similarity but yes that's what i can say i hope it it is um clear to the other disclaimer that yes perfume is perfume all the notes that we put in here has a similar so when their time of the perfume that has a similarity i think just because of the notes and the chemical that they put it there and it just depends on how it reacts to your body chemistry that's all i can say so let me just move to my next type of perfume which is so the next type of perfume that i love it when it comes to fruity type is the meloria Meloria was launched in 2013 and behind the note is Natalia Rorson's and this is one of the fruity type of perfume that I like it. I'm not a fruity type of person but when I smell this ladies and gentlemen this is the second list that I have as all we know perfume de Marley is kind of expensive but for me i love this i love 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 this it's a very fruity floral notes with the opening of uh, a very delicious berry that is very juicy sweety with a touch of softness of floral after a few minutes and you know ladies and gentlemen the ilang ilang and the rose itself just added the gentle to the berries itself it's really 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 nice and when the perfume dried down there's vanilla came to the top of it and just captured and engulfed the perfume to become a creamy delicious mouth watering scent that's all i can say i cannot add it more than that see it to yourself smell it to yourself let me know down below the comment box what is the side effect to you of Meloria? This is just like involving me to the from Caribbean to Bahamas. That it's sexy, sexy, sexy women. That's it. So for the next one, which is Sedbury. This is the least perfume that I want. Not because of the scents or probably because of the opening of this type of perfume um or probably depends on the reactions of my body at that day i tried it this for a couple of day for a couple of times yes this is the least one i'm not pretty sure like gentlemen i'm not saying generally i say it 
this is in my own opinion Sudbury is my least this was Lanyon 2015 and for me this is a really opening of white floral if you're a lover of white floral this is for you but with me the part of myself the dominant note is the chuparus and even though it has a lavender and when i saw it it has a note of the lavender it's just like where is the lavender where is this nose that i love it the most but i cannot smell it because i'm very familiar with the lavender but i cannot smell it that's disappoint me that i wish i smell it that i wish the lavender is a dominant but it has a dominant of the still white flower tuberose and when it dry down it has a little touch of vanilla and ambergris that's make it more sparkly it's just like a benzoid that makes you feel addicted that you keep smelling and that's happening to me when i smell this all of this um perfume de marley that you want is to buy them all i cannot throw anything it's, there's no rubbish with this type of perfume i just selling you from the least that i like from the first that i love and this is the least one but it smells so good if you are a lover of a white flower floral and it's a touch of tuberose this is for you ladies and gentlemen but you can just compare it i can suggest it to you to buy a decant buy this decant so you wouldn't regret so for the last one that i have it with me is the atelier how do you pronounce it atelier right like a marimar oh dear how 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 are you giving me a hard time yes yeah it's getting better but in my body chemistry it doesn't it has this something that i miss that it's missing that i wish it has but i love it i'm more on soft floral side oh, the malori is really good ladies and gentlemen it's really really good this is my second on my list that i'm looking forward to buy it because i love it i love it so for the last one sorry about that the last one that i have it's the atalia which was lost on 2016 this is a, a type of floral woody musk type of perfume and this is atalia was launched on 2016 this is a very very gorgeous type of perfume of irish and orange blossom this is that make the perfume soft elegant perfume this has a touch of powdery and mask combination it has the feeling for my olfactory senses ladies and gentlemen it's just like a powdery at the beginning from the beginning till the end it has a mask itself but the irish and orange blossom is the dominant with this type of perfume that i like it and that's my third perfume that i like it to the least and it's really nice really nice i love it them all i i i cannot choose but as i told you my first favorite is like the safana the second one Meloria, and then atalia and then sudbury in the last one it's nice i cannot say anything about this and the only bad things with the perfume de marley there are good quality type of perfume however they're very expensive type of perfume for 75 ml and i hope they less their their um they less their price for the mass people that love it to have this type of perfume but yeah the quality of the perfume that they produce it as all we know in dubai it's really good it's not that just a type of perfume it is a niche type of perfume that you will love it to wear it for the occasions or if you want it to feel in boost your power or you in boost your self-confidence this is a type of perfume that everyone will notice you it mass appealing it's not versatile it has a specific type of event that you can wear it that if you wear it 
someone will adore you that's all i can say about this type of perfume so if you're new to my channel and be here for a while please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be notified with my every week upload of video and if you like and enjoy this please don't forget to, subs to subscribe like and comment and share to your family and friends and have a great wonderful day and night throughout the words and have a great day guys and bye for now and see you soon bye guys